Good morning, everyone. So today I have the pleasure of helping launch this uh, new stamp club kit for uh, Tonic. So these were sent free of charge from my review and all opinions are my own. And any links I have in the description box will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you purchase items through those links. So the stamp club is something relatively new that um, Tonic has just begun. So this is number four, which is uh, shoot for the moon super cute i mean look how lovely when i say cute to me i just like the stars and things but it really has a really gorgeous feel to it like you see the big moon here we have uh, a waning one we have um like little you know uh, background type stamps there's a uh, wording here shoot for the moon another trip around the moon stay wild you are my moon my star is my everything happy birthday that is a really sweet sentiment that's pretty cool um even if you miss you'll land among the stars and i'm over the moon for you you have your, your little stars here uh, background kind of like woodland trees type of thing here branch and then the uh, mountain scape and it comes in this really nice um pouch here with the information and everything so you, as you go through you can easily find what you need and then we have our carrying sheet here with our dies now I can see that some of these you know obviously they match up and this die set has a ton of dies <laughs> so I can see there's this inner portion that would give you um, some embossing and then there's the circle die we have the moon also with the embossing we have this really cool uh, cut out here that looks really amazing um, little stars that you can cut into your paper or however you want to use it um, if you want to use obviously cut into the paper or the little negative pieces that if you want to put them in a shaker that'd be really fun so we have several of those so you can do it all at once if you're going to pass that through a card we have the uh, mountain shapes the kind of background shapes that you can cut out and layer up and look at this oh my gosh so lovely all the tree line there and let me give you an idea of how large these are so this tree line one is about five and a half inches wide, so great for a standard A2 size card or uh, however you want, might want to layer it up on a card that's a little bit larger. Um, yeah, I believe the same with these guys too. A little bit closer to six inches wide on these guys, so it'll cut a really nice um, sample for you there, or piece. And let's see here. This one's about four inches in uh, diameter, except for, you know, it's cut out here. So really, really nice set. So what I'm going to do is uh, take a look at this here. And uh, the Stamp Club is something that you just purchase every month. I, it is not a um, club where you have to uh, have a membership for. You just pick it up as you like. So uh, let me grab some papers and things and we'll get started. Okay, to make my card, I have a piece of smooth uh, cardstock here. This is cut at four and a half by six and a half. I'm going to make the card of five by seven, just to have some really good space to work on. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and just um, take any static that might be on this, because I'm going to do quite a bit of embossing, and I'm not sure exactly where I'm going to put the embossing, so for now I'm just going to do that. And then I'm going to take the uh, stars and possibly this cute kind of uh, area here because it just adds some more into the background. So let me take this one first. Oh, photopolymer stamps, smells so good. Okay, and then I have the uh, embossing, um, clear mark embossing pad here. Oh, it's juicy, juicy. <laughs> All right, so you wanna make sure. And this, again, it's just gonna be a background, so, you know, it doesn't have to be super um, perfect. So there's some there. Oopsie. Some here. Actually, I'm gonna. Where did I put that last one? There. I'll do this one here. So it's just giving us some extra background there. And then I'll take the stars one. I'll go ahead and rinse that in just a bit. Sorry about that. I'm planning on putting the. Um, kind of like the mountain line kind of down here so I'm just gonna leave that for now so if you can see you can pretty much see where you're putting dots and things so I'm gonna put the stars here I'm just gonna turn it and put some more here off the side here maybe just a few more down here okay. 
So we're just going to take this uh, embossing powder in Shimmering Pearl, which is adorable, and put this on here. And then we're going to uh, go ahead and heat emboss this, and then over the top of that we're going to add some color with some um, inks. So I'm pretty much putting out the whole thing there, just getting it on there, making sure every area that has embossing ink will get this on there. I hope you see what that looks like. Look how cute those little dots there. Okay, so I'm gonna hit this with a heat tool and I'll be right back. Okay, so we can see that. So pretty. So um, I'm just gonna build up a, a background and then we'll uh, move on from there. I'm just gonna take some of these blending sponges, whatever it is that you like to get colored down. You can use those. And I'm just gonna start off with like a blue color here. I'm gonna bring this up kind of high because again, we're gonna put the mountain range in and stuff. So I just wanna get this color down. And from there, I'm going to blend in some black ink. I'm gonna start at the top and come down. As much or as little as you like, I'm probably going to end up putting it on really thick by the time we're done. Hopefully you can see what's happening already with that resist from the embossing powder that we put down. So I'm just going to continue adding ink until I'm happy with it. And where it kind of comes in here, I'll still kind of try to make them join up. Okay, and I'll be back. Okay, and when you're all done, um, you can just take a towel and just kind of go over this just so you can clear away whatever might still be the ink that's sitting on your embossing. And it'll just make it pop that much more. So I'm going to... So pretty. So I'm going to layer this up over this gorgeous metallic paper here. So I'm going to cut this paper down to um, four and three quarters by six and three quarters. I'm going to mat that onto a card base and then we'll continue on with our other pieces that we're going to add on. Okay, now that we have our background, I'm going to take another piece of the Ultra Smooth that I just cut off when I trimmed it down. That was left there, so it worked out really well. I'm going to stamp our full moon and then we'll cut it out with the die with the embossing to um, have a little more texture. This is kind of a big boy, so I'm going to put them on there. And then I think I'm going to ink them up with some Metro Gray. I'm going to scrub it on here because it's the first time I've used this stamp. And um, just want to make sure you get that dispersion layer off there. Again, this is just gray, and I'm just kind of dabbing it here and there, but if you want to take a little bit of, like, some black and dab it around the edges, just to give it a little something more. Gorgeous. So pretty. It looks really, really cool because <laughs> it has a very textured feel to it, very organic feel. Um, okay, and then I'm going to give that just a second to dry. This is quick drying, so it shouldn't take too long, but I'm going to go ahead and take the die, both dies, this inner and the outer die here. And I'm just going to place the texture wherever it doesn't look like there's a particular spot for it. Uh, maybe here. And then the die. I'm going to go ahead and run that through tape it down, run it through, and I'll be right back. Okay, I did make myself an aperture just so I would have a perfect circle. Um, all that means is I ran the die through on a scrap piece of paper, and then I can see through that to make sure I cut my circle perfectly. Okay, so there's that. But as you can see, there is some extra um, in the stamp, so that's really nice. So you're gonna get it perfect either way. And there's our moon with some texture on it, there you can see. Really pretty. 
So that, of course, is going to layer up somewhere here. And then uh, for the mountains, what I'm going to do is cut out both of the ranges. I may use them both. I may not. Just depends. I'm going to trim both of these out on just some black paper. I have some black cardstock here that's just extra. So I'm just going to, you know, layer one up, let it cut out. Like this. And then whatever I have from the scrap that's still left, I'll cut out another little range and then we'll layer it up possibly, but I'll be right back. Okay, so we have our pieces here. And I'm gonna have to trim the edges off of that because I don't need the full um, size of that. So I do have some, this paper here cut down, um, gorgeous paper from Tonic, and I'll again have the links as available in the description box. I am going to stick this guy down. And then we'll also, oh, I have that the wrong way, of course. <laughs> and then we will also stick down the uh, topper we made there. And this is cut down to uh, four and three quarters by six and three quarters. Oh, it feels so nice. Gorgeous paper. And then I'll stick this one down. And I'm going to massage this one for a while because this one does have um, a lot of ink that was put down on it. So the shape of the card, instead of being completely flat, has a little bit of wonkiness to it. So I'm going to take my time with this one. Okay, and before I completely stick this one down, even though I was getting ready to put uh, stickiness on the back of it here, uh, what we're going to do is layer this part up because we need to trim it off so we can't stick this down to our card base quite yet. And just, you know, eyeball it, see what you think, you know, which one might look nicer in the front or in the back. That looks nice. Hmm, let me think. Something like that. And if you want your mountain ranges to have different um, levels, like if you want to pop this up, you can definitely put some dimensionals down to do that. And I'm still going to eyeball that. Put glue on here. I'm going to let this set up, and then what I'll do is go ahead and just trim off the excess on my paper trimmer and I'll be right back. Okay, all dried and trimmed up and I already put some adhesive on the back but I'll just put a little more just show you that. And again, if you wanna make this dimensional, you can do that too. That'd be really, really lovely. And I'm just gonna stick this down. Of course, as straight as we can. <laughs> if um, you have problems sticking down uh, mats in a straight manner, what you want to do is use a wet glue so you can kind of uh, position it again if you need to. I think that, that was good, but it needs to be a little bit higher. All right. I'm going to turn this over and give it a good squish like I like to do, and I'll be back. Okay, I went ahead and put um, adhesive on the back of uh, our moon. It's just the dimensional adhesive. And I was planning on putting this pretty lady up here. Of course you can place wherever you'd like. Um, you know, another thing you can do also is take like the excess, uh, that circle that came out um, from the little aperture I made or just make yourself another circle. You can do like a halo around this. If you put your circle down and use some ink around it. But I thought that was really pretty just the way it is here. So um, all we're gonna need is a sentiment. Okay, guys, so I think, uh, you know, looking at the sentiments here, I'm going to go ahead and stamp right on my card. If you're afraid to do that or you don't want to do that, you can definitely stamp this, um, you know, on something else, cut it out, you know, just uh, with your cutter or trimmer or with a die, however you like. They do have a die that goes along with um, the sentiments in the uh, stamp club set. I'll have the link for that, too, in the description box. Um, a die set that helps you cut out things like this. But uh, I think... I like this, another trip around the moon. That's really sweet. And actually it makes me feel like maybe it's kind of a little bit of a masculine, you know, birthday card. Um, so we have another trip around the moon and then we have happy birthday. And I was thinking about putting them both on here, but I think what I'll do is I'll put this here 
And on the inside of the card, I'll do the happy birthday. So I'm just going to take this little guy and get it on a stamping block that I thought I had nearby. Here it is. So if you want to use a, uh, you know, a stamp press or uh, precision tool, you might want to do that. I'm just going to eyeball this and I'm going to emboss it. So I'm going to put a little bit of the embossing powder just to help me reduce cling but uh, sometimes you get it anyway. And I'm going to take my clear uh, mark embossing pad. And I don't want it super juicy because these are very fine little letters. So I'm just going to dab, 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 but I'm not really pushing very hard, okay? I just really want to get that on there so we know our letters are all done, but not too, too juicy. Okay, and let me... So again, I'm just going to pop that on there. And you can see that your letters are there nice and shiny. And I'm going to use this Nuvo um, in Pearl Luster um, just so I can get a little more white in the background or in the letters. Um, the one we used earlier is a little bit more sheer. So I'm going to use that. Give it a little tappy tappy and then just brush away the extra. What I see is that's glitter, so it's not going to stick, but I just want to make sure. Okay. And I'm just going to use my heat tool on that, and I will be right back. Okay, guys. So that is it. I'm going to do the same thing on the inside. Just use the uh, watermark pad to put the happy birthday in there and emboss it. And so that's that, guys. I hope you enjoyed uh, to the review tutorial. Really nice card. Um, I love this whole kind of star, stellar constellation type thing. Um, again, the links will be in the description box. So thank you guys so much for watching and thank you Tonic for sending this for my review and I'll see you guys at the next one. Bye now.